Hello, my name is Mary Sabisky, in case you don't know that by now. And I've been working here for a long time, 29 and a half years. I have to say 29 and a half wonderful years. And that has to do with a lot of people that have helped me throughout the years here. Um, I started in 1990, a long time ago. Um, I was in my 30s when I started, believe it or not, and it was a big career change for me. I came from working in manufacturing. I was on a leave of absence, and I decided I wanted to do something different, something more meaningful. And if I could just make a small difference in somebody's life, that would mean the world to me. And I feel like I, I accomplished that here at Ben Haven. Again, getting back to when I first started, I didn't know anything about autism. And I had a lot of great people that taught me along the way. A lot of people that had a lot of patients. They didn't mind if I asked the same question two times, sometimes three times. And I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them. I had a lot of different roles while I was here. I, was, I started as a classroom coordinator, I mean a classroom assistant. Then I was a senior, um, a senior TA. I um, developed some one-to-one -one programs based from homes. I was a Saturday supervisor along with Laura, and Laura and I could share some real funny stories about that, but that would take up this whole staff meeting, so I won't go there. Um, I was a supervisor, and lastly, vocational specialist, where I really feel like I found my niche here, um, looking for work for students and um, helping students be out in the community a little bit more. I, I saw how that really made a difference to them. And with everybody's support, I think we all made a big difference to the students here at Ben Haven. I have a lot of people to thank, and I don't want to like forget anyone, but I want to thank Linda Grimm for hiring me, first of all. Um, I wrote her a letter saying why I wanted to apply for this job, not having any background in this field. Um, she took a chance with me, and I'm very thankful about that. And I also want to thank Karen for being such a wonderful supervisor and a mentor along the way, teaching me a lot about autism, supervision, and being there in a lot of um, special times in my life and difficult times in my life. Um, I just, I couldn't do this standing up in front of everyone because like I told Zach, I would either pass out or cry or both. So I'm doing it sitting down from my chair. But from the bottom of my heart, I wanna thank everyone for whether it be a smile and hello, or just taking a few minutes to sit down and talk to me, or coming in and asking me questions. I learned so much. The students taught me so much. I always said that, you know, you're just working with the students, you can learn so much how to help support them. And um, it's been a, a great, great ride for me. Now I'm gonna be entering a new phase of my life. That's how I'm looking at it. People say to me, what are you gonna be doing? And I go, hmm, I'm not really sure yet, but I'm gonna have a lot of time to think about it. So, before I end this, I just wanna say a few things. Goodbye desk, I'm gonna miss you. Goodbye computer, I'm gonna miss you too. Goodbye carpet sweepers. They sure get a lot of use here. Goodbye office, but most of all, well, I'll never say goodbye to people here. I will be coming back to say hello and stopping in, and it'll never be a final goodbye because goodbye always makes my throat hurt. Thank you. And would you like to try and say Alejandro's name one time for us? You well, go? I think you taught me, Zach. Change that J. To G, is that? To an H. H. Alejandro. Alejandro. Did <laughs> I get it? Did I get it? <laughs> Close enough. Okay, thank you. We're going to miss you, Mayor. <laughs> You're the best.
There's some other people I'd like to acknowledge in this video. Um, Larry Wood for sharing his wealth and knowledge in the vocational area. He gave me a lot of support when I first started working at Ben Haven and throughout the years. Um, Lisa Jones, I worked in her classroom in the earlier years on and she was my previous supervisor and mentor. And she gave me a lot of um, opportunities to work at vocational sites in the community as a job coach. I'd like to acknowledge Sarah Sarah for her adding her humor to my day and even those cray cray days um, and being such a good listener and a go-to person. I'd like to acknowledge Deb Schwartz for being my meeting buddy throughout the years. I don't know if anybody notices, but we're always next to each other during the meetings and I'll save her a seat if she's not there and she'll save me a seat if I'm not there. Um, and also bringing my kitties into my, me and my husband's life, my sugar and spice that brought us so much joy. And, um, and for sharing Maggie's goodies on so many occasions. I'm gonna miss those goodies. Um, I like to acknowledge Kelly DiNapoli because earlier on in the years, um, as I said previously, I was responsible for a one-to-one -one program space from at home, and Kelly was very involved and dedicated to, to those uh, programs. So I wanted to make sure that I acknowledged her. Um, Marcos Martinez for his dedication and hard work with the Vocational Wednesday group for over 10 years and his commitment to the students. Um, Walter Perone for exhibiting or trying to exhibit the best he can patience with me for all my technical um, dilemmas I have and questions I have that I've asked him. Um, and of course, Zach Peters for doing this video on such a short notice, I really appreciate it, Zach. That means a lot to me. Um, I have a couple of special um, acknowledgements too. Of course, I want a, a special thank you out to all the students that I've had the opportunity to and privilege to work with throughout my 29 years here. Um, working, as I said before, working with the students, you learn so much and, and I thank, and I reflect back and I've learned so much from each of them in different ways. And um, this video, um, and close and I'd like to say this video uh, would not be completed without me acknowledging my dear friend Elaine. Uh, for over 27 years, she's always been there for me. Um, she was there for me in so many different ways. Um, she'll always be in my memory. She'll always live in my memory and my heart. And I'll always reflect back on some of the fun times we had and uh, sad times we had, but we were always there for each other. And um, I wanted to make sure I acknowledge my, my friendship and my good friend Lainey in this video. Thank you everyone for being you. Thank you.